current refers to how much current is flowing through the weld area. It must be set properly to create a setup nugget. Weld current generates heat whenever it encounters resistance. At the start of the 10 cycle weld time, current will begin to flow. The metal heats up over the first four to five cycles and the weld tips move closer together. As current flows, the heat increases and a weld nugget begins forming by the sixth cycle. The size of the weld nugget increases every half cycle for the next five cycles. If weld current is set too low, too little heat will be generated and the weld nugget will be too small or not formed at all. If weld current is set too high, too much heat will be generated and the weld tips will be squeezed deep into the metal and cause excessive indentation. Too much weld current can also cause brassing, blow holes, cracking, and surface expulsion. Weld current settings are determined by the type of metal, thickness of metal, and the number of pieces being welded together. Weld current settings for two thickness and three thickness stack ups. Weld time must be set properly to create a setup nugget. Weld time is how long current flows through the weld area. It is measured in cycles, which are equal to 1 60th of a second. If the weld time is too short, current will not flow long enough to generate the heat needed to create a proper weld nugget. The resulting weld nugget will be too small or not formed at all. If the weld time is too long, the current will generate too much heat and the weld tips will sink deep into the metal, thereby creating excessive indentation. Too much weld time can also cause brassing, blow holes, cracking, and surface expulsion. Weld time requirements vary according to the type of metal, thickness of metal, and the number of pieces being welded together. Weld tips must be properly cooled so they can draw heat away from the weld tip interface during welding. Cooling is achieved by pumping cold water through a water tube positioned inside each weld tip. When the water tube is properly positioned, water will flow out, hit the weld tip, and drain down the outside of the tube. If the water tube extends too far, the end of the water tube will flatten against the weld tip when it is seated. This will restrict water flow, and the weld tip will not be properly cooled. If the water tube does not extend far enough, the water will not reach the weld tip, and it will not be properly cooled. Hold time must be set properly to create a setup nugget. Hold time is how long the weld tips remain in contact with the metal after current stops flowing. If hold time is set correctly, heat will be absorbed by the weld tips and the outer perimeter of the weld nugget will harden before the weld tips open. Hold time usually lasts for four to five cycles, which is about one fifteenth of a second. If the hold time is too short, the outer perimeter of the weld nugget will still be molten when the weld tips open and the metal will spring apart. If the hold time is too long, the weld tips may squeeze too deep into the metal and create excessive indentation. Excessive hold times can also cool the weld nugget too fast and cause cracks to form.